blood now flows through her veins. She will live through the centuries to come. Please, how'd that Bella Lugosi kid do it? I feel like I'm just not getting the stare down right. Is it in the eyebrows or, or in the eyes or... I just feel like something's off. Oh, uh, howdy partner. Didn't realize anybody was down here. Oh, hey cowboy. Uh, the heck are you supposed to be? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to be one of them uh, astronaut fillers. One of them fancy schmancy hoity-toity holly weird movies. Oh, I get it. And the, the, the tinfoil hat's supposed to be like your space helmet or something? Oh, no, no, that's not part of the costume, no. This is just to make sure that uh, one of them uh, space aliens ain't reading my thoughts, you know. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a well-known fact that alien space technology is actually broken up with the tinfoil on the head, so that way they ain't be uh, cracking into your thoughts and trying to read your mind. Jeez, the, the future kid never mentioned anything about aliens being able to read my thoughts. Speaking of, what's with the cape? What are you supposed to be? Superman or... Liberace? Oh no, I'm supposed to be Dracula. You know, Bella Lugosi. You ever see this flick, by the way? You scared me and a lady friend that I took to the theater this one time. Bella Lugosi? Wasn't he them there Italian guy that went around sucking blood and eyeball fucking them ladies and stuff? Ow. Tell me where they are. Where are the rebel bases at? Oh, time out there, failure. Time out, good buddy. I, I don't think either of us know what the hell you're talking about. All right, I'm running this quiz show. I'll ask the questions, Hayseed. Jeez, this is probably the most hopped up I've ever seen this kid. And one of you better tell me where they are. Where are the rebel bases located? And where's the account code and the fucking password? Hey, watch your mouth, Junior. There's no reason that you should be speaking blue like that. Shut the hell up, man. We have no idea what you're talking about, boy. Oh, really? Well... Little birdie told me otherwise, so I think you best be making with the information right now, or my little 9mm friend right here is gonna try and get the information out of you the hard way! Come on, boy, do something! I thought you always had that revolver on you! Oh, for your information, I always keep the revolver in my suit jacket. That's how we used to do things back then. And what's your excuse? I thought you were supposed to be the hillbilly running around with your boomer stick all the time to get those damn kids off your property. Hey, you leave my Lucille out of this! Shut up! Just tell me where the girl is and nobody gets hurt! Boy, you best stop yelling at me in my own home or I swear I'll kick you with the ball so hard they're gonna come right out your throat! Well... The, the costume looked pretty cool, right? I mean, like, I was in character the whole time, thought it was pretty good. Hey, what the hell are you even on about? Oh, uh, sorry if I scared you guys. I was, uh, just trying to get into character, you know, I was trying to be a action cop movie character for Halloween, you know, sunglasses, gun in hand. Uh, I, I was, I guess I got a little too into character. I, I didn't mean to scare you guys or anything. Oh, no shit you scared the both of us. I practically shat myself I was that scared. Anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for liking my costume and stuff. That was scary, right? That's the first time I've ever seen that kid that hopped up. Ugh, little psychopath. I mean, I was expecting something like that from that Mick Swigger kid, but, but not him.